Okay, so um, it stopped recording again. So hopefully I can put these recordings together at the end. Let's have a look at what we have so far. All we've done is we've created our combo box. And at the moment, it's entering the data. And this isn't working. And the data I just entered went to our front page, I think, because, yeah, see, it just turned up here. We haven't told it to do anything else. So let's get coding, Alt F11. Um, if the video before ended before, the way to get that box open is to go view, toolbox, okay? So I added a command button and I called it CMD close and I aligned everything. So let's get coding. <clears throat> So the first thing you needed to do was to add another combo box for color. So I've done that. So fill combo box color is a comment telling me what I did. For each Z in color, me combo box add item Z. So for this spreadsheet, inside combo box color add item Z, then move to the next Z. So I've created that. Next we want to go to our user form and we want to enter data. Now we want to do this combo box. So combo box change color. So I've just gone to the user form. I double clicked on combo box. And now we're going to create some if statements. So the first line is a comment. So and it's going to just enable the user to add data to the correct spreadsheet. OK. So that's what we're doing. And we're going if combo color, um, the value of that is equal to red, then what we're going to do is we're going to spreadsheet free. Oh, yeah. Spreadsheet free is going to activate else if cmb color if that value equals the color green then we're going to go to sheet 4 and we're going to activate it else if combo box color value is equal to blue. Notice I'm not using any capitals. Then sheet 5 is going to be active. That's because I, in my wisdom, didn't use capitals here. If when you do yours, I would actually use capitals. And then if you use capitals here, you're obviously going to use capitals here. OK, so here's a mistake. It's red sheet. There's also a dot missing. All right. She's good. And then we've got a. This is different as well from Python. So we've got to end our if. So end if. Okay, so now let's press F5. Let's go. So it's going green, it's going blue is red, and red is blue. So we've got to swap those numbers around. So double F11. So. This one's got to be free. This one's got to be five. Let's press save. Let's go F5 again. So color red, color blue, color green. Cool. That's working. So now we'll do our next section. So. Now, 
I also want to clear the user form when we're finished. So to do that, we we call a function. So we'll, we'll just write the call function here, but then we'll create the actual function. And we're going to call the function clear form. Okay. And right here, we're going to create it. So let's create a sub, which is our function. Sorry, a private sub. Private sub, and it's going to be called clear function, clear form. Oops, yep, did it for us. And what we've got to do is clear the combo boxes. So combo box teams, we want the value to be equal to nothing. So CMB days, we want the value to be equal to nothing. And we want the, our text box points four to be value to absolutely nothing. And we want to write ourselves a comment so we know what we just did. And this function clears our user form. So here we've write, written a function to clear our user form, and but here above we actually um, we called it. But something's missing. We didn't end this sub. End sub. Oops. Sub. All right. So these are different. So let's see what happens now. F5. Let's. So, blue, dragons, day. and it's still appearing on our front page, so let's clo close it. So now we're going to do the next part of our code. Let me just check the time. And it's not even recording. It is recording. Thank goodness. It's coming seven minutes. I'm going to stop this and start the next video.